Two things. One, Silver Surfer. How ironic that he's sitting in like the first episode questioning the members of, like suspected members of the Calvary with uh, believing that the giant squid was a hoax perpetrated by the government. And then last episode, episode before, episode before, um, he learns the truth about what happened with that. You know what I mean? His mind just must have been blown. And then um, also in the first episode, Judd is sitting there in the hospital room with a black police officer talking to Silver Surfer, who is a lie detector person who can tell when people are lying. And he's, you know, he's saying, I can't believe they're starting to shit up again. Why are they doing this now? But he knows something else is going on because he's a part of that organization. How did... Silver Surfer not pick up on that. Or maybe he really was surprised that this happened or, but like, I don't know. It was just, wow, you're really sitting there in that room and lying like that. And the, but yeah, but then like, what's his face, a mirror guy. He doesn't pick up on that. I don't, just a thought. I'm gonna go ahead and watch this. I don't feel like talking about anything else beforehand. I think that's all I wanted to say anyway. Uh, don't forget the full reactions are over on Patreon. They have been for some time now, so go watch. And uh, that's it. I will stop talking so we can get into this. I'm assuming he's going to remember everything that they've been through the last few years. You know, a god walks into a bar. If I can guess why you're here drinking all alone, will you let me join you? Sure. Why am I drinking all alone? You're commemorating the anniversary of your parents' death. Have a seat. <laughs> You're dubious. Oh, I'm not dubious. I'm just wondering why the actual Dr. Manhattan is wearing a Dr. Manhattan mask. I, re I don't want to be recognized. Is this a Zeus thing? A Zeus thing? In this bar, having a conversation with you and on Europa, creating life. Ah. I step I'm just out like... onto the amniotic lake. Something. A hatchery stocked with miracles, fin, winged, and hooved. You walk on water? Occasionally, yes. Cool. Entire process is complete in approximately 90 seconds. Typical. I'm sorry. <laughs> A man creating life in under two minutes? That's funny. Thanks. Thanks. So, <laughs> what about Adam and Eve? Accelerated biomechanical match. The baby lake. Is that where. A man and a woman. Asshole is? A manor house. Brought them a manor house. That's yes. where Light is. I feel safe there. Lord and Lady of the Manor who have taken those in need of help. Where her eyes morphed into a ceiling last time. This is the first time I know love. You're in trouble. They're the clones. Hans, might we talk to John in private? We like to get to know all the children during their stay here. Uh, no, that sounds creepy as shit. We were creating a life. You see, we, uh, we had a son. He would have been about your age. He, he, he fell ill and died. And now they're brought back over and over and over as clones. John? How weird is that? I made Adam and Eve. Not in my own image, but in theirs. <laughs> Wait, you got something caught in your throat? Oh, that's funny. Six months from now, a friend is telling me I have a profound lack of imagination. Then why'd you leave? So I can meet you. Come on, man. <laughs> I love you. Oh, oh, we just met. So there's no moment when you realize, oh shit, I'm in love. For example, I'm looking at you, hiding behind your mask, and I'm having the opposite of that. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Actually, you've come up with a rather elegant solution to the problem of my appearance. Have I? I know, I'm, I've been quiet for like 17 minutes because it's just good. Pick one. <laughs> they have birth certificates, social security numbers, passports, everything that you need to exist in this world. Unless for some reason you have yet to present all of the options. And he knows that she has. <laughs> There's no family to pay for an autopsy, so. Ashes over Saigon. I like the name. Kelvin. Wow. 
You sound different. My vocal cords loosened in the transformation. Shall I adjust them back? No. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> you forgot your thing? I'm going to forget so much more. I have an elegant solution? Yes. <laughs> okay, what is it? Because then it won't be your idea. Man, you have got this shit down. <laughs> so, Ten years, tragic ending. I can roll with that. But I'm still... Like, she's convinced. being flippant about it, but it's still, like, sad. But you know... Just before I create the egg... What egg? Shut up. That would get really annoying. God damn it. We are not in an argument. We're close. And now you say... Don't, don't tell, tell me what I'm gonna, gonna fucking say. say. That would be frustrating for both of them. They'd have to, how can I not drive him crazy and drive her crazy? We're in the fight now. <laughs> yeah, we fucking are. Uh, what yeah. do you know about fear? The last time you were afraid was 50 years ago. No, Angela, I'm being torn apart right now. Because if you know everything that's going to happen, what is there to be afraid of? What is there to risk? This is why they made him say it. get rid of his memory. Yes. Lee. Still fabricating alien incursions, I see. One settler part of the time. So he's doing that. This kind of appropriation is considered quite problematic now. <laughs> it's 2000. How do you know I was on Europa? A little elephant told me. A little elephant told him. You have a profound lack of imagination. I gotta give it to you, man. You have a fantastic imagination. <laughs> <laughs> You laugh now without the awareness of your abilities. She wouldn't know to use them. And how long would it take for you to make this device? You tell me. Do you know what is inside this? This is a little circle thing. Actually, I don't. A blind spot. This John is plan A. I like the music there. Like the little wonder. Amnesia. I saved the world. He's going to take advantage of this time when Dr. Manhattan is gone. I once asked you, John, whether it was all worth it in the end. You avoided answering. <laughs> Will I live to see my utopia? They're still there, just waiting for someone to worship. Sounds like paradise. It's going to drive you nuts. It's going to drive him crazy. So how is he get, trying, to get in, trying to get off? How do you know it's going to work? I don't. That's what makes it a risk. Are we going to see how he saved her on the uh, White Knight? If you forget everything, will you still be you? My memories may be lost, but you won't be losing me. Okay, you're losing me, man. Because <laughs> he said he might be able to use his powers or whatever. Emergency situation. The egg. I would never pass my abilities on to someone without their consent. So that's the thing you can do. If someone were to consume it, they would inherit my powers. So that's what the guys are trying to do? They're going to eat his powers? They're not our biological children. No, thank They're you. They're adopted. Now we're getting engaged? In a manner of speaking, yes. But this is after. <laughs> All I know is that you were there before it begins, and you were there when it ends. So he's not going to remember anything from when they're together? Sounds a lot like a tunnel. <laughs> a tunnel of love. <laughs> the tunnel of love. Maybe I should leave this thing in your brain. That way you won't know how it all ends up. I leave it entirely in your hands. You want to get down on one knee? I do. Wow. Hey, baby. And that's how it was for him. He remembers her putting it, and then that's it. We're in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's 2019. No, I need to move forward. What do you mean? This is stressful. <laughs> it is Christmas. A man in a mask kicks in the door. You push me down. The bullet hits the clock. Except perhaps as a reflex in a life-threatening situation. Oh, no. Did he zap him away and they told that person knew knows? Would you excuse me for a moment, please? <sighs> you can do this right now. Um, what the shit, Cal? It's all right. They're safe. No. No. Uh, no. Get the fuck up off the pool and tell me where they are right now. Why? It's important for later. Okay. I've seen it. Why does she need to see him on the pool? They're with your grandfather. 
What? When did you talk to my grandfather? I'm walking up to a mansion, also known as Captain Metropolis. When he died years ago, he bequeathed this property to an old acquaintance. Stop, did he really? Okay, I'll just, I'll just flip myself inside. May we talk for a moment? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of hard to say a no to a superhero. In order to ensure an optimal outcome, I would like to form an alliance. You want to team up with me? This is about Angela. Angela? Your granddaughter. But I suspect it's because she senses it is where she comes from. This reaction is going to be very boring. I'm sorry, but I'm just like taking it all in. You're talking with him right now? Relatively, yes. You talking to her right now? Relatively. Yes. <laughs> Ask him, how did he know Judd Crawford was a part of Cyclops? Ask him, how did he know there was a fucking clan robe hidden in his closet? He didn't till now, you just told him. Who's Judd Crawford? He said he doesn't know who Judd Crawford is. <laughs> but he does now. Did I start all this? Is this my fault? <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. The chicken or the egg? What? <laughs> What the hell are you doing? I must be so frustrated right now. I need you to be still. Okay, that makes sense. Dear the Seventh Cavalry. They're in a truck parked across the street. Okay, let's zap out of here then. Can we go to the theater too? Let's zap somewhere then. Why are you so calm? Oh. <laughs> He's so calm. Like I've been saying this whole time. They, they want to kill you. Yes. So then let's fucking stop them. We can't. Why, Why not? not? Let's just orb out whatever it's called <laughs> i'm thinking of charmed like just freaking zap out what this is the moment what the moment i just told you that you can't save me and you're gonna try to anyway in the bar the night we met you asked me about the moment i fell in love with you oh this is the moment is that supposed to be romantic so, Kinda, yeah. All this time we've been together and you fall in love with me now. No, well, he had I've no always memory. been in love with you. Why can we not just go to Europa? We have people and servants there. This is stupid. There's like 8,000 of them. He can't zap her out like he did the kids. Zap her out of there. Well, she has to try. She would be mad if he didn't even, like let her try and see that it was fruitless. You were wrong. No. I'm sorry. I know it's there, I guess, because he is. I don't know. What's your first name? It's John. By definition, don't all relationships end in tragedy? <laughs> and will you have dinner with me tomorrow night? Fuck it. Why not? That was really good. <laughs> I like I was quiet for so because like we got so many things fed to us. Like, you have to and you know, ask the question if he knows that's gonna happen. Why would he go and walk around and stand in that exact spot where he knows he's gonna be taken, unless he knows what's gonna happen next and why? We still haven't seen Wade, right, Silver Surfer? Where is he? What's he doing? I'm hoping that he's somewhere about to come out springing up like Arnold Schwarzenegger from the water and true lies like somewhere <laughs> guns a blazing and, and save the day or something because like this is awful so i guess he's gonna appear dr manhattan is gonna appear before her name is not jean what is her name help me out Lori. it's funny because i was saying i guess next episode we're gonna see how they met i like how they did it too with him experiencing all the time periods everything at one time he's always experiencing every moment so the way they spliced it up as he's sitting there with her, so we kind of feel it the way he's feeling it. Oh, that's awful. It's beautiful and awful at the same time. He's asking, like she asked, when was the moment you fell, in, you knew you fell in love with me or whatever. Uh, and it's like minutes before he dies and she's like, we've been together all this time and this is when <laughs> you fall for me. He's like, no, I've always been in love with you because he's experienced this whole thing already. I like how they, cut from her putting the thing into his head to her to him waking up because he doesn't have those 10 years which is what i was afraid of was you know i was hoping he would be able to remember that but so she had a whole 10 years with him a whole 10 years a normal life with him and he doesn't remember any of it so it's kind of like goes back to the original story of him having having amnesia and that's uh it's crazy the whole thing with bites so he's on europa 
trying to get out of Europa because he's there in paradise by himself being worshipped and catered to and he's driving him nuts. Because Dr. Manhattan told him it got boring. I had to leave. Dr. Manhattan, the kid, him, you know, being told to make something beautiful by these two people. The baby lake is still creepy as shit. <laughs> I don't care who's doing it. That was floating up out of the... Ugh, it's so gross. Um, but yeah, him being told he's done to create something beautiful. And then he creates this land and these two people again later on. Like, because that said to him, that was, you know, beautiful. He created a paradise. But these two people had an impact on him. That's sad. So, Dr. Manhattan went to Angela's grandfather, went to Will in the past, and told him what was going to happen. And she asked the question, how did you know Chuck Crawford had the robe in the closet? He hadn't done that yet. Woman, what are you talking about? Yeah, you started this. I don't even know what else there is to say after this. I don't even know what, what else there is to say. Because this whole thing was mainly just their story. We didn't get anything else from the outside, you know. I'm very excited to see how this all wrapped up in the next episode. I'm wondering if I'm still gonna have questions about, I'm wondering if I'm still gonna have questions about like how this works and you know what I mean? There's still like issues. <laughs> Is he dead? Obviously, they would have to transport him like because they said to Jean that you know you're gonna see him Lori damn it So I wonder what their interaction would be especially to her interaction to him in Caliform She'll be mad at Angela because she knew the whole time. Yeah, this is gonna get interesting I'm very interested to see where this is going. I'm assuming we're not gonna end up with a world full of villainous superheroes well, They wouldn't be superheroes super villains uh, with Dr. Manhattan powers so what is lady true and the grandpa gonna do i mean it sounds like though angela of all the ladies he's loved got like the best possible version of him you know she got to be with him without the time stuff and without the, the all the history of the past and everything she he was just there with her with nothing else oh that sucks though because now he's gone i wonder what the grandpa's saying to the kids <laughs> he's like what's up great grands suck I wonder what his wife would say about all this. Uh, I'm going to sit here and, and think for a minute. That's it. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, that's it. Bye. <laughs>